place. Was that your outlap? Oh, well. What happened to Chris? <laughs> Chris is uh, still on the medium tires, but here we go, Mike Brady into Parabolica. How is he going to attack the corner compared to everyone else? He's going to attack it not as aggressively as Chris, but more aggressive than other people. As he comes across... I did not agree. that same lap time. No. But Chris now into the pits. As it's Gibba coming out of Parabolica this time. How the fuck is there someone... Alright, give us a minute. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> you like Davy David Crofty. Huh? You like David Crofty, Sky 1. Yeah, if I had a commentary partner, then it'd be a little bit better, but... David entering 210. Good exit. Ooh, he kept it tight on the exit of the start. What? What? Did he say hmm? the N word? Yeah. No, 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 no. I, I said, I said, I said, I said tears. That's Chinese. Shut up. Oh. Oh. I was wondering if anyone else heard that. I heard it. Okay, good. <laughs> Give a, or that's David little, Benson little. coming across the line. Not no, 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 out from the from the lead, and he is eight one uh, one thousandths of a second away from second place to Victor. Mike once again has run out of fuel. <laughs> much later, much later though. Much later, much better. Well, much more well done. All right, Chris. There's four minutes left. Who else is going to get on the track in time to set their lap? I'd say you got about three minutes. Got to be out with about three minutes left to make sure that you can set uh, that lap. But Victor, on the way to begin his hot lap, David Benson, I anticipate, is going to be out of here. But here we go, Victor coming across the line, setting some blazing speed, except he took very long to activate his DRS if he's not paying attention. He's got his wife in his ear. Into the... Heavy breaking zone in the first corner. Oh, well oh, done. Oh, Keeping it oh, wide and tight oh, on the uh, oh, exit. Oh, there. I fucked up. I'm fucking on the full man. Jesus Christ. You suck. Mike coming out of Parabolica. Oh, they didn't even keep it on the track. But let's see if the stewards are going to have that one. It's going to come across with pole position. That's ridiculous. Little bit of a special trick there to get all four tires off the track, but I'm not going to judge anything. That's up to the stewards to decide. Adam, I've never talked in Chinese in front of a foreigner. I mean, Canadian or American. Because they're the word it messed up in, you know, in, in English, in Chinese. Yeah. Yeah. We see that a lot. But that is, yeah, that is it, like a crappy word. It's a very word. common word in Chinese. Yeah. Chris, yeah. you're not going to set a lap? Mm, I don't think so. All right. Just well, when you Chris live in America, out of qualifying here. when you hear that, it just kind of hurts your ears, you know. Like <laughs> it's really, it's really messed up. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's see. Mike is getting that toe there. Oh, into the gravel, I guess. Never mind that. Who's coming on for a good lap? Victor. Restart his next Victor, lap. I'm dead, bro. <laughs> Mike will most likely be on his in lap. He does not have a lot of DRS left. I um, died on the one my first lap. I don't get a pole, man. I'll tell you right now. Let's yeah, just talk you. about how Angel died on his first lap and is still holding pole position. He's in second. Second, second now, but <laughs> yeah. he held it for about could have done better, but seventeen. Can't, can't do better. I mean, that was a pretty solid lap. That you put in. I could have gone a little faster. I fucked up the. David, how much fuel did you put in that fucking car? How about you shut the fuck up? <laughs> <laughs> you fucking Canadian prick. He's not Canadian. He's not Canadian. He's not Canadian. <laughs> He's not Canadian. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Shit, Victor. Oh, you I fucked up. Victor, oh my so god! Good. Both of the Alfa oh, Romeos are dead, dead, so dead. <laughs> Because Victor missed me so David. much, he wanted to join <laughs> me. And then we've got uh, David Benson good. and uh, Mike fighting here through if the If you're going to mistake Millie for not being Mexican, he's Indian, because he looks hey, Indian. Fuck you! <laughs> hey, you're, you even told me that's the case, uh, so don't even come does. at me. Everybody fucking You know, if it. he looks Indian, but he talks English as well, 
You could pass for like a tech bro or something, man. Have you seen the show? If I goddamn thing about computers, then maybe, but I have no clue about anything. Where do you live? City gone batty? Me? Yeah. Fuck, I wish. Back on the route. Are you still in Las Cruces? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. I mean, we have a game in El Paso tomorrow. Oh, cool. We have two actually. Adam, so what are you? What are you? What are you studying? International business. You better talk to me, man. <laughs> yeah. You gotta do you some shit with the Chinese. It was a, chi oh, it was a China oh, hustle. Man. You better do oh, that. Oh, hold on a second. Let's get a little view on uh, Mike Brady here. He said a purple. Ooh, he's going pretty fast. I'm, I'm, I'm watching Brady actually. Coming in through yeah, I'm gonna watch Parabolica. Oh, he's got his kind of that in. That's too late. That's cheating. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, spicy. Spicy there. <laughs> the pressure got to him. It did. It really did. He was David, scary. watch it. Watch out, watch out. Uh, you, you have nobody to. coming, you're fine. Is anyone, no, no one's coming, No is one's. There? No one's even close to you, you're fine. Oh my god, hilarious. <laughs> well, I, uh... Well, ladies and gentlemen, I fear I may have done the commentator's curse on Mike, considering he was purple until I oh, said yeah, something. Oh yeah, definitely. And then he spins out as soon as I brought all the attention to him. Mike, <laughs> if you want to blame that on Millie, go ahead. No one's gonna <laughs> complain. Yeah, he literally... He spun when you started talking. He started to... <laughs> well, I mean, shit, the only one that would be complaining <laughs> oh, is finally. Mike. finally! <laughs> Alright. Let's do it. Alright, David shit. Benson. I, he's probably on an end lap or whatever. Oh my god, I have a feeling I just... I feel Cutting bad. through the debris, absolutely speeding through pit road. That was not even <laughs> close, good sir. He did not lift wow, wow. for a moment. <laughs> you fucking hey, you never know, Millie. <laughs> yeah, okay. you the pit speeds of this track yeah. could be 120 oh. miles an hour. <laughs> Nah, it's more than that. <laughs> 210 miles an hour? God damn it, damn it. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm actually gonna record this one because I'm just gonna commentate the whole time, so I might as well. Yep, might as well. I want and I have, anticipate... I, want, I, want I think I, as well as Chris, have anticipated that there's gonna be some shenanigans going on in that first corner. That's why uh, That's why Chris is not in the front of the pack. <laughs> I'm afraid. Yeah. Who got Poe? Mike? Bro, yeah. full, full I sand on you, that Mike. first corner. I'm already telling you guys. <laughs> full go sand, for bro. It. You're in front of me, um, so go ahead. Hey, did anybody check the weather for the race? It's, Not at all. It's, it's sunny. It's clear. Yep. Sunny right. for the race? I kind of just said fuck it and went on track. All right. Didn't pay attention whatsoever. Let's do it. Well, Who's behind me? Who is P5? Uh, P5 was Mike, me, you, and I don't know. I was four. Yeah, and then Brady, and then Brady is fifth. I think Brady's Yeah. Fifth. Brady, take and it then Chris easy, six. man. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, shit. I'm nervous. Uh, well, I think I may have started the recording too fucking early. Yo, uh, Angel, oh, okay. tomorrow, tomorrow race is there. 11 your time, eh? Okay. All right. Just welcome, uh, welcome the of the change of time. <laughs> to the Italian Grand Prix. I didn't realize this was the pit strategy menu, like, area of the thing, but... We've got quite an exciting Italian Grand Prix to start off with. So I'm going to present inside. my keys to the victory, saving fuel, and ERS. Absolutely vital at this track, considering how often you are full throttle. But here we go. Five red lights. And the retards are off in Italy. The predicted pit strategy. That's actually kind of cool. One it stop will be a stop between seven and nine laps, or a possible two stop. But into the first corner, bit of contact yeah, yeah. there for Mike. Big right. dive bomb there from Angel. Jesus Christ, but everybody <laughs> gets through cleanly. All right, all right, Mike. I just went straight, and then right. Everybody gets like, through cleanly. I didn't, I didn't go right. Like, I didn't... I didn't turn when I braked. I didn't turn. I mean, did I turn? <laughs> everybody gets the, through I saw here. Coming on the right, though, dude. He was Into the Lesmos as Angel flying forward. He almost hit the fucking wall on the entry, and he almost loses it on the exit. Jesus! Angel's got a bit more speed than he, <laughs> than I think he wants I'm, I'm right going, now. As he's on the overtake button here, he's got a full second gap already over Mike, but Mike's got Victor all over his butt cheeks. As we enter a scary chicane, still going in single file. 
bit of a corner cut there by Mike, but we're not going to talk about that. Mike, damn it, I fucked up, Victor. What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing, Angel man? losing oh, the God, lead. I mean, I bit liberal on the track limits there from Angel on the exit of Ascari, but he's going to lose the lead. Mike is going to come across leading the first lap. That's going to be one bonus point. That's going to be an interesting first lap. If I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. However, it's not. Uh, Mike is going to set the fastest lap so far in this race. All right, here goes Victor, Mike. I'm not I got it, I got it, I got it. Come across, Victor. He's gone fast, bro. Looking to pass his teammate. He's going to get past before the corner even happens. Everybody's still civil as we've got Brady and uh, Chris back there with a good little fight. God damn. That's a uh, twofer, but we've got predicted pit stop strategy is either a one stop or a one stop. Whether you go on the mediums or the hards is up to you, but good overtake around the outside for Mr. Chris. How do you say your last name? Victor, you need to go a little faster, bro. Go fast, Mike. A little bit Homo? of contact there between Ooh. Chris and Mike. Brady. But what as the fuck? Oh! Victor almost okay, lost it on the exit of the second Lesmo. All right, he was all over the back of Mike, but he loses it, dips his tire in the grass as we got a three-way battle here. Give us sticking his nose up the inside. And he's Leave just going to back out very intelligently there. Way to not be too aggressive as yeah, everybody exits. We've got a three-car DRS train with Mike right on the back of fucking, uh, Chris. Mike looking in. That pair of no fucking DRS. Is he gonna stick his nose through? No, he's gonna take it very smart. As we continue, these four cars starting to break away from the pack as Mike gets another fastest lap of this race. Only three laps in, but let's see, Victor. This is Victor dive bomb territory. He's gonna take it quite conservatively this time, but I wouldn't put it past him to dive bomb from this far back. Dips that back toe into the ah. gravel again. Fuck. As we go into La Curva, I heard a fuck back there, and it's Mike <laughs> spinning in the gravel trap. <laughs> Luckily for Mike Brady, it's very early in the race, and he's got had plenty of time to make this up, especially if he plays the tire strategy and the fuel conservation correctly. So we've got this four-car tandem breakaway here. Angel, I swear to God, nearly hits the wall on every entry into the first Lesmo. Mike getting a it's bit been, of a it's been rough it's been rough man bit of a dip into the grass is victor trying to attack him going around the outside with drs Ooh, wheeler, wheeler, on dude. this lap mind you, you to the five people watching this they're close nah, good they're... Ed, good overtake there by victor around the outside of the escar chicane holy Wait, shit mike not even close to the track that's all right he's gonna get a good run through Ooh, <laughs> the the jesus christ it. mike the Mike's stewards may want to have a look oh, at that fuck? one, but Victor is going to send an absolutely oh, ridiculous dive bomb. Yeah, I don't know about that, Victor. That's my bad, that's my bad, that's my bad. That's my bad, man, that's my bad. damage. Victor holding him up. Crazy. Do you have damage, Mike? Hey, Mike. <laughs> they almost took each other out, buddy. <laughs> Going side by bad. side down the front stretch. Mike's got wing damage now. Not so sure how much downforce he's going to have through here, which may be a quite bad... But Victor once again did both of the Alfa Romeos cannot stay on the fucking track, but Victor just I mean you gotta choose better. Give us sitting there behind the two Alphas who are trying to figure their shit out and Give us taking it very patiently, not forcing it too much. He is still in that uh, four car tandem of we've got oh. Chris looming in the background as these four cars start to fight shit. even longer. Chris, mind you, is on the medium tires. So he does oh, have the nice. advantage. In terms of pit strategy at the oh, moment, and the fact that he has caught up, I'm gone, this four-car tandem has now become a five-car tandem. As Mike Brady oh. looking in to hopefully get his way through, as we make our way down the back stretch, I need some water, but I don't have any. Into the Ascari chicane, good little corner cut for Mike again. Oh. Victor, careful, bro. <laughs> Victor oh, has yeah, a terrible sorry. exit. He might get attacked yeah, two two times here. Way. Give us gonna get past. <laughs> Chris right on the back of him. He's going to send it up the inside into the Parabolica turn. And he's going to get the move to uh, stick. I actually oh, Mike, Mike didn't went. notice Why? that uh, Victor also has wing damage. Um, and so does Gibbo. Yeah, okay, so three cars have wing damage house. in this front five pack. But Mike, the man with wing damage who clattered Victor on lap four, or uh, at the end of lap three. Jesus Christ. Crazy. Getting off to a two-second lead, so 
another a third key to victory here in this race. Stay out of the DRS train, and I suppose you will either catch up or break away much quicker. But give a look, see if that downforce gives him any trouble. Ah, Just a little bit. Fuck. A lot of understeer through that exit. Yeah. And he's going to lose two positions, possibly, as Chris looks up the inside. Give a trying to leave him some room. Well done there. Can give a hold it around the outside. Yeah, no, not that, entirely. Oh, he's going to get into the gravel. <laughs> it was almost bad. It was almost as bad. As Victor nearly hits into the back of him. And Mike Brady here sitting. He's starting to catch up to this five-car tandem up here in the lead. More of a four-car tandem now as Mike's checked out to a three-second gap. But Mike Brady on his way in as we get a nice shot with all cars in here. David Benson sitting back there is possibly a dark horse if these guys take each other out anytime soon. Not too far behind. But as Mike Brady starts to catch up, he's got his eyes set on the back of that lovely Red Bull car. Mind you, if you're Mike Brady or David Benson, this may be good news to you, but uh, three of the first five cars do have wing damage, and they most likely will be replacing it. As uh, our leader Mike is missing that uh, right front end plate, Angel's got good, so is... Uh, Chris, but Victor, I think his is the right end plate as well. I'm good, man. I'm good. As we get, no, you have damage, my boy. <laughs> yep, Victor's missing the right end plate. All right, so all three cars missing that right front end plate, which may be giving them some trouble in terms of downforce. But Mike Brady now coming through the Lesmos, trying to catch up. He still should be fine. He's got plenty of time to get this done, especially in the pits with the the repairs that are going to have to happen. Same thing with David Benson as he comes out of that second Lesmo turn, looking absolutely majestic in that Bumblebee car. Bumblebee. Bump. <laughs> <laughs> That's Mike Brady, or not Mike Brady. Uh, I'm going to call him Jacksonville Mike, because I don't know his last name, but he is... Davis? All right. I just assume Jacksonville, because the Jaguars are your favorite team. <laughs> But the pit window has now opened if you're on that hard one-stop strategy as Mike Brady has actually caught up to Gibba. I don't know what happened. Okay, Gibba's making his first stop here of the day as he's going to be looking to get Sorry, onto Chris. another pair of soft tires. Hey, Gibba's going to be on the two-stop as he gets that wing changed. Don't know how long the stop was, if I could get that information from my sources. 8.3. An 8.3 second pit stop there for Mr. Grim Reaper. As he's going to be on that two stop strategy, you just put another set of soft tires on. But we've got a three car pack here. Mike Brady getting closer. He's closed up about a second and a half in that last lap. But Victor's starting to lose the back of the pack here. He's starting to lose. Angel and Chris, who, mind you, do not have wing damage, which may come into effect here as we continue. I heard a damn it, but it looks completely fine to me. A little bit of a drift coming out of the exit there for Mike Davis. Coming out of the Ascari chicane, but as these four cars... Mike Brady is now caught up to the back of this tandem. I heard somebody what the fucking up there, but... Oh, I got some grass on the on a straight, bro. I just had a... Everything looks good up here. Mike Brady has caught up to the back of this little group as Mike Davis into pit lane for his first stop of the day and most likely a wing change. And he's going to put on the hard tires. Mike Davis will be on his way for the rest of the race with no more stops. At least no more scheduled pit stops. As he gets onto the hard tires here. David Benson dipping his tire in the grass just a little bit, but he's all right. Let's see, can Gibba catch up? No. Probably not, no. Gibba's gonna be just about seven seconds behind oh, you bastard. Mike there. I heard an O, oh, and that's uh, another right right front end plate there off the the front of the uh, banana bumblebee of David Benson this time. But we've got Victor trying to defend here from Mike Brady, who's trying to get up into the podium positions right now. Into a scary chicane. He's going to 
peek, just a little peek up the inside, but he's going to hold off here and hope for a better exit out of Ascari. Is Victor not attacking the curb as much as he should have? And now we've got Angel, who moved up into the lead off the pit cycles, being attacked here by uh, Mr. Chris. Let's see if Angel dips through, judging by his arc. He is going to pit. Chris had a little block there, but Fuck. it's Angel yeah, letting me pits. know. Oh, sorry, dude. This is my downforce is at one. Uh, As we've why got I'm just... Mike Brady me? No, finally getting me. past Victor okay, with man, the DRS. No, 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 no. On yet. the front straight. I saw you pitting. So okay, just a little lock up there, oh, right up there. Goes Victor oh, right up the ass. What are you doing? Little bit. Mike Brady lost the grip on the rear tires just a little bit, and that means Victor may have a chance to attack through La Curva. As they continue their way through. Grim Reaper. Kiba setting that fastest lap time of the race so far on those fresh soft tires. As it's a good exit there from Victor. He's going to be right up the inside. Nope, he's going to back out just a little bit into the first last mode. Thanks, As they Victor. continue going straight. Bye. Good sportsmanship there between the two lads. As Angel, who has put on the medium tires, by the way, for the interested fans out there, has built up about a three and a half second lead over Mike and that's all completely due to uh, not having wing damage as well as uh, having softer tires can Gibba catch up to Mike it's a four second gap right now and Gibba has two compounds softer on those soft tires setting the fastest lap do we have any takers in the pit road this time no we don't as we find maybe David Benson may have a take into the pit road here. But Mike Brady, seemingly safe from the Chinese torpedo this time. As he locks up the right front tire coming through the first corner. Oh, where are you going? Where are you, where are you going? Oh, Mike Brady spun it. Oh. Into the inside wall. He's out. Oh, spun it. What? Oh, safety car. He is out, and that's going to be a safety car. This may have helped. Everyone else on the field, as that's now a free pit stop for everybody. Long live which will, which will in turn help out the guys with wing damage. So Victor, as well as David Benson, both going to have quite the advantage as there's a possible drive-through penalty for Mike Davis for speeding under the safety car. That is catastrophic when you consider the fact that you cannot serve the drive through penalty under safety car laps so he must wait until <laughs> the safety car exits that's gay did you miss <laughs> oh, but victor and david benson have the advantage now if they got a free pit stop and a chance to change their wings david me, benson I the, the fucking as i said is a dark a horse God, let's I'm see gonna... is christoph christoph chris that's your full name. But Chris is going to dive up into the pit road as well as Victor. So we're going to have a battle here on pit road. Let's see whether or not David Benson, by the looks of it and the path he's taken, it looks like he will dive it up into pit road. No, he will not. That's a bold decision there, David Benson. As the pit window for the hard tires is open, Chris putting on another pair of the soft tires. Or actually, this is his first pair. As we Please get medium down. tires on the car for Victor. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Ah, as they're fighting. Victor's going to come out in uh, fifth place, potentially. Unless Gibbo can get past before the first corner. But I don't see him getting through. No. So, ladies and gentlemen. Under the safety car. <laughs> David Benson, the dark horse of this the race that I said, sucks. leading the race under the safety car. Oh, did I get We've one? got no. Chris oh, in fuck. second. Angel oh, nearly I getting a drive through penalty. Rounding out the podium spots. We've got Mike on the hard tires. That's going to be an important Wait, thing. However, he does have a drive through penalty. Along with Victor in fifth place. And Gibba rounding out the active field. After a drive. crash on lap nine from Ready, Mr. Okay? Mike Brady. Yeah, We're going to take it to commercial break right. here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> commercial break. <laughs> that is brilliant. That is absolute time. Bloody cut. <laughs> yeah, Victor, that's, uh, that's no traction, man. Those slow chicanes are a bitch to get out of. 
And uh, try using second gear. I use second gear on those slow ones to come out of uh, with more traction just a little bit, but... Oh yeah, yeah, I did. Still gave oh, it shit. too much gas. <laughs> Has David pitted yet? Nope. So Chris, your virtual Grand Prix leader. Oh, let's catch up to the field a bit. We're dropping two uh, yes. Remember that we need to stay within ten car lengths of the next car. And wow, bold decision there, especially with one to go. Alright, welcome ladies and gentlemen, we're back from commercial break. I want to thank our sponsors, Bravo Holiday, for sponsoring this broadcast. As they do have two other sponsorship slots. But as you see right now, David Benson going on to the hard tires, getting a front wing change. He was in the lead, decided to pit. Oh, fuck! A uh, bit of a questionable call there, but I heard a fuck back there from Mr. Victor... And now Chris, who has played the tire strategy correctly, started on the medium tires, onto the softs, is the race leader at the moment as we cycle through. And we're going to get our uh, reports here, as I believe this will be the final lap of the safety car. Chris, starting on the medium tires, was kind of quiet at the beginning of the race here, but he's caught up and he's carved his way through to the front as... Sitting there in second place, Mr. Mexico, Angel, <laughs> sitting on them medium tires. I think he might carry these out to the end of the race. No complaints over the radio about the handling of his car. Had a bit of wing damage, or actually he wasn't the one with wing damage. But a uh, good race so far as we cycle back. Mike Davis here. What are you doing, Mike? He touched the freaking wall. I don't Ooh. think he got any wing damage, but race control is saying safety car in this lap. Mike Davis with the drive through penalty on the hard tires here. He was leading the race. He was leading the race until the safety car and the pit cycles. Safety car kind of caught him off. Victor now sitting here on the medium tires. He may be taking these to the end as well. Had quite an eventful first stint here, did Victor, um, as we get set for the restart. David Benson has caught up to the back, and he may be having fast, uh, hotter tires as that safety car makes that right-hander. And we're off racing again. Nobody gets what left behind. What the fuck are you Chris doing, Chris? We're going four wide. That was weird shit, but all right. Because he just did that on purpose, man. Wide. Into the first corner. No, no penalty, no penalty. I saw, I saw the finish line. Locking it up, going way deep into that first corner. Gonna slow doing, it down. Angel? And Jacob Gibson is gonna Fucking send up, it up the inside Sorry, of Victor. Can, can he hold it around the outside of La Curva? Shit, As he is answer. going to be able to, most likely with those softer compound tires. Chris, be a dick, man. Still having <laughs> Sorry, man. Victor on the outside of him. But he will cycle through into the podium positions here for Mr. Gibson, who also had quite a quiet beginning to the race. He was part of that four-car tandem that started the race. However, he uh, developed a little bit of wing damage, pitted very early compared to other people, put on the soft tires, went with an aggressive strategy, and it looks like it's paid off considering the uh, safety car that we've gotten so far. But Chris off to a hefty lead, putting a purple sector in uh, to the uh, second sector there. As he's going to pull out already to a three second gap. As he is leaving the other guys in his smoke. As we continue to cycle through. Mike Davis will most likely take the uh, drive through penalty this time by. To give himself some extra time to catch up here. But it is Chris cycling through at the fastest lap of the race. And now as we look at David Benson. As you saw right there at the end of the picture. Mike Davis did in fact pull into pit road for the... Uh, drive the penalty and around here with no toe like everyone else that may be a uh, quite dangerous quite a precarious position for him to be in but as we've got another three car tandem the DRS train like I said was incredibly critical to try to avoid that situation
as we continue on the way through. Gibba did dip his uh, right rear tire and now his uh, left rear tire, both of them, into the dirt there through the Lesmos. Very he difficult be, uh, corners having... right there. What, what's, um, what's his name? Your Reaper? Jacob, Gibba, Jake. whatever you want to call him. He's yeah. having, he appears to be having network issues. Yeah. Nah. Come I don't one of my sources have said he appears to be having network issues, but, uh... <laughs> it does it a lot, I don't know. Um, uh, we do have Mike Brady out of the infield care center here after taking that hard lick in turn two. Uh, so what went wrong there, Mike Brady? You know, it was a, it was a rough, uh, uh, rough exit coming out of the uh, first chicane. The wind changed a little bit, went from a headwind to a tailwind, I just wasn't expecting it, so... It is what it is. We'll we'll pick it up next week. <laughs> you sounded like some fucking metal today. Uh, you sounded like amazing. metal. <laughs> so professional. Uh, good positivity <laughs> there. Tough break there for Mike Brady. He was running up in the podium positions when that happened. But uh, not sure if he'd like to be the color commentator for this thing. But I love it. Do you think Racing Point's gonna have to pit again, or are they gonna stretch these softs? Um, I doubt we're gonna be able to stretch these softs. I, I mean, there's still so. 13 laps left in this race, and uh, according to the pit strategy here that we saw at the beginning of the race, those those softs will last you about thir or about 10 laps, but uh, he's probably been on these for about five laps already. So, that's uh, we'll look through there. Looks like yeah, he's laps. been on those for uh, three laps already. Grim Reaper will also Ooh. most likely be having to uh, come on in for another pit stop as we continue through Chris leading the race by quite some margin as Angel has now checked out from uh, from Gibba but Gibba getting attacked from behind by Victor it would appear to me that those uh, soft tires are starting to give out in terms of grip but off the inside goes Victor uh, maybe even some engine issues that was no DRS to get past right there yeah, let's see if we can get some little uh, radio connection here. Hey, Gibba, what's going on with the car there, bud? I don't know. The fucking thing's just not working right. It's <laughs> 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 not driving right. into the corners. Oh, God. Oh, well, uh, I love this. Well, we apologize, everybody, for the uh, language right there. <laughs> but, uh, we'll just hey. fucking continue through this thing. This guy's a NASCAR driver. <laughs> he just made his way over here. Yeah. <laughs> Not bloody an F1 Well, I'd be British if I was an F1 commentator. Also true. Ah, uh, no, I can't do that one anymore. But uh, Victor now trying to defend from Gibba coming into the Ascari chicane. I don't think Gibba's quite close enough, but he may be looking to get a better run out of the Ascari chicane. I think those tires are probably starting to give out on him. Oh, Chris is fast as fuck. It still. would appear to look. Uh, one of my sources telling me Chris is fast as fuck, to quote him. <laughs> uh, he's, not, he's on his way out of the parabolica corner. Four laps old on his soft tires there. Oh, fuck. He continues the way through. Jacob Gibson is coming in for that final stop. I will most likely guess that he's going to go on to the medium tires. And as we get a look here... Yep, that pit crew's got the medium tires set and ready. Will this be a good stop? I'm going to guess it's a 2.6 second stop. You would be correct. All right, well, call me Jesus or something, because that's psychic powers, but well, you will are Mexican, he so. get the undercut? No, Mike Davis will get past him, and now Gibba's going to have to work a little bit harder to get some extra points here. As we've got the two Alfa Romeos fighting each other now, or at least hopefully... If Victor could catch up, he does have fresher tires. They're on the same compound, but he's got two lap younger tires than his uh, teammate Angel. As Chris continues to show his dominance in this middle part of the race. As, uh, we passed the halfway point just a moment ago. Uh, that'll be sponsored by uh, Bravo Holiday once again. Fuck. And Rolex, <laughs> I suppose, because they are F1's official sponsors. But, uh, Victor's slowing down just a bit. David Benson, I told you he's a dark force for a good finish. Sitting in the fourth position right now. He's got no more scheduled pit stops after having those hard tires on. 
A little bit of a sketchy moment as Gibbas starting to catch up to Mike Davis quite quickly, actually. Neither of them really attacked the corners, or attacked the curves on the exit of the uh, Ascari chicane there. As we continue to cycle through. Angels pop. Gibba has gotten into DRS range. I'm not sure if he's in it for this straight specifically. As he is, let's see that wing open up and let's see the speeds that he's going to get coming on. Entering with the overtake button on 212 as he enters the first corner there. Gibba does have quite a bit of DRS saved up. He's at 68% right now. Probably should have been a private number, but I shared it anyways. <laughs> As we cycle through. Classic Angel commentators. Mo, nice. Angel Mo essentially uh, juiced out on the... Uh, he's got zero, literally 0% zero on his ERS. As the man behind him got an extra 50% to work with here. Hoping to catch up to his teammate. Hopefully put on a show there as David Benson. Chris, are you going well. to pay any more? I hope uh, not. He's gonna have to. <laughs> He's probably Bunker. gonna have to. Okay, sorry. My I hope he does. Oh, is a certified oh. person, so maybe I don't need... Oh, Gibba oh. coming right up on him right there at the entry Whoop. of Nascari. <laughs> Mike Davis is going quite slowly in the uh, the entry. Nearly gave him a love tap up the ass, but he's uh, oh, still no, good. Oh no, I had no DRS and ERS on. I was yeah. flying. <laughs> but uh, so Fuck. we look here. Victor still can't catch up to his teammate as he continues to choke every time he gets close. <laughs> Lost an entire second in that corner alone as we look into the shadows. David Benson lurking just outside of a podium position. Call me Victor, big boy. All right, that was a bit homosexual on the radio there. But, uh, oh, yeah. we're continue to come through. Can we take the uh -huh. radio from Renault, please? <laughs> <laughs> Can we get rid of their team radio? Right, here we go. The uh, no, attack we, we, here, we'll... coming through La Curva. Can give us send it up the inside, or is he going to take it a bit more conservatively? He's going to peek the inside, but he's going to hold off until that back straight gets a little bit weird on the exit there. Yeah, but he's going to continue there. through. Into the Lesmos. He's got to use the grip advantage that he's got right now as Mike Davis dipping a tire into the grass and then give a dipping a tire into the grass. I suppose nobody can stay on the track through the Lesmos, but that's okay. As Chris coming out of Parabolica. Victor, what the hell's been happening to you as we got the overtake through DRS? Give up into fifth place. Oh, Jesus. And then cuts the corner on the exit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And, uh, Got a little bit of pressure on me, sorry. <laughs> Mike Davis may be coming oh, up shit. on the uh, outside there. Gibbo's going to take the defensive line into Parabolica. May end up destroying his exit here in comparison. Mike Davis three-tenths behind, and he's going to be right up the alley. As that rear wing opens up, he's going to be looking. Is Gibbo going to take the inside or the outside? Nope, Mike Davis is going to force him to... Into the inside, and he's got a clean overtake, but can Gibbo hold it around the outside? Bit of contact there into the second corner. <laughs> Gibbo with a good... Never mind, he had a terrible exit. He had a good defense until that exit, but... Dude, it makes me want to watch this battle. I wish I wasn't driving. <laughs> Mike Davis is going <laughs> to keep himself AI up there. <laughs> As we've got Dude, Chris. <laughs> Chris just on cruise control right now. Looking, that's our championship leader, everybody. I believe there's only two races left, so I'm pretty sure Chris has already clinched that uh, championship. No, we got oh, a lot of races yeah. left. But I uh, heard a little woo back there, and uh, checking on what's going on. Almost As we've got Kevin we're nearly good. spinning it, but he's in DRS range. He's probably not going to close up too much after that exit. Five second penalty, uh. speeding in the pit lane for Chris. That could be monumental. As Angel was only six <laughs> seconds behind. Back Chris is probably going to put on uh, some medium tires because he can't put the softs on again. I guess he's going to put a third pair of softs. Oh, no, he started on the mediums. Never mind, he's good. But uh, will Chris get stuck behind David Benson? David Benson nearly running into the fucking entrance of the pit lane. Nearly hitting the wall, but this is going to be tight. David Benson coming around the outside. Does he have enough grip to challenge Chris? Just a slight bit too far back. As Chris, however, did not serve the five-second penalty during his pit stop for some odd reason, but he's going to check on out. He's now got to hold. He's now got to create a five-second gap here. He's got 
about 16 seconds to the leader, and he's got seven laps to do so. Angel, how many percent of, is that tire? Uh, I'd rather As not we come say. back to this battle between <laughs> Gibba and Mike Davis entering the Les Mos. If Gibba can get a good exit here on the uh, back straight, he should be able to no. do well. He's got plenty of VRS to work with. 62% oh, oh my gravel. god, nearly losing it on the exit. Fuck me, dude. Same place. Same place. Dipped his tires into the gravel Oh, uh, was my again, radio on? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, the commentators have all the radius on, don't worry, but he's going to take okay, a slight bit of a corner cut there as he continues through. He's got the ERS to work with, I'm just not sure if he's got the uh, cleanliness exiting the Lesmos to be able to contend with Mike Davis here. As we've got Chris taking nearly three seconds out of his gap between himself and Victor, but we've got beautiful shot with four cars here on the straightaway. Um, the Alfa Romeo's just fucking cruising because Victor, I guess, can't catch up to Angel. I think they both need to pit again. Uh, I'm not sure they will, to be honest, but <laughs> they may have to. Uh, 10 and 12 lap old tires for the Alphas. Um, it'll depend on what the percentages you're looking at, but Chris taking a second and a half out just in the first sector alone as he sets a purple first sector. He is on his freaking way up there, and he's got to pretty much get 15 seconds in the next six laps in order to win this race. David Benson cruising nice and smoothly as uh, Mike Davis and Jacob Gibson make their way up to the back of him. No pressure, David. Um, Shut the fuck <laughs> <laughs> I swear. There goes Chris again, taking another second and a half out in each sector of the track as he comes out. This is going to be a purple lap for sure. There it is. Uh, 121 9, the first person to break past 122 in this race so far. As David Benson. Has a three second gap to Mike Davis and Jacob Gibson. Jacob Gibson still has not been able to get by. I uh, I think the tire disparity is now starting to come into effect as the uh, freshness, both of them dipping their tires in the gravel on the exit there, but I think the freshness of both their tires are uh, coming into effect. I think we've passed that point where uh, the mediums have the advantage in terms of wear um, as we look through. Gibson should be okay. I'm not going to talk about that one, but uh, Gibson should be close enough through the Lesmos if he can have a clean exit through the second one, which he's been definitely struggling to do oh as the God, uh, dirty gosh. air kind of tightening up the car or uh, understeering it. But that's a good exit there, and he's going to be on the attack here on the overtake button on DRS up to 200 already as he makes his way down. Still not close enough to send it up the inside in the Ascari chicane, but. If he There's saves enough of that ERS, as David Benson has now come into the picture, as Mike Davis is going to be within DRS range here on the front straight. David Benson having no ERS to work with here. Um, you know, I think the stewards have their work cut out for them today. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, <laughs> stewards must be freaking blind as a bat if they can't see any of these <laughs> things going on, but... <laughs> we've got... Mike Davis somehow not in DRS range, but coming up, Gibba still not close enough. I wonder if he will ever be close enough as we've got four laps to go. Chris, mind you, has taken two seconds out. It's down to 7.5, but I doubt he can uh, make up another 12 seconds in the next four laps, but I guess we'll have to see what goes Andrew, on with the championship puncher? leader here. No, no, I'm Why you're so fucking though, slow? Buddy. Oh, okay. Because um, I'm losing grip? Uh, let's tap in here to the uh, Alfa Romeo radios here. Uh, hey Angel, what's your uh, tire temperature or your percentage at right now? Uh, it's high. It's just what's it's high. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, he's going to be keeping that uh, secret here in the broadcast as uh, obviously Formula One teams don't like to share their secrets too much, but Angel's on some very bad grip tires. Same with Victor, most likely, um, as 
Chris hey, takes another is, second uh, out. This is Billy down on the track. We got a nice battle going on between the three cars in the back. <laughs> I just cycled through as soon as you said that. But we're going three wide into Parabolica. Oh, that somehow came out cleanly. What the hell? That was an amazing little overtake there. It's David Benson losing two spots. But he's still in the battle here. He's going to have DRS as Gibba may finally be close enough to get the overtake. Up the inside into the first corner. He's going to be passed. Three quarters passed before even. David Benson's going to send a dive bomb into the grass. He's not quite going to be able to make it stick. But he is through. David Benson on some fresher tires, however. As Gibba finally gets the overtake after four laps of Askin. He finally makes it through. However, his work's not done because Mike is right up on that ass. Still <laughs> keeping up with him. <laughs> right up on it. As we've got Angel now. Victor is finally catching up. But he's still not in DRS range. So, Pony in position's not the greatest battle right now. As we've got Chris still trucking on. Cutting out another two seconds. Um, wonder if Chris is going to be able to... Uh, to keep his uh, momentum going and oh. if he's able to pick it up. Oh. Heard a little careful, O back tires, there. Tires are shit, Victor. Don't, don't slip. But uh, they're not going to be able what to push punter? it too I feel like Chris I got a puncher, man. A... Oh, oh Victor has a puncher! No, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet. I feel oh, like I got a puncher. It's really, it's really shaking. Don't grab the, don't grab the, yeah, don't grab the, the curbs anymore. No more curbs. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, okay. Chris no curves, gained one second on Victor just on that straightaway because of the, uh, oh, oh. Disparity there, but Mike Davis in the DRS range, not quite close enough, I don't think, into the first corner. But Gibba's still going to take the defensive line as Mike takes a tiny little peek up the inside. Can't get there just yet, but my <laughs> Chris has finally gotten Victor in his sights, and it's like a bull sea in red right now. As he might be uh, looking to make that move. It's within three seconds now. Chris oh, is within lap. five oh, seconds good. of the race leader. I wonder if he's going to be able to get this off, but into the Lesmos. The main battle here is between a four, five, what? and six positions We're good. as those three are split in oh, two. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, but getting into the gravel just a little bit. That may have opened the door for Mike to make the attack as he's got the DRS. Gibba's going to take the defensive line into the Ascari chicane. I'm not sure you should go two by two through here. Mike is going to make the smart decision and hold off, but as we come on to the final lap of the race, white flag sponsored by Bravo Holiday. Chris setting the fastest lap of the race again. I don't quite see him making up five seconds in one lap, oh, however, but if he can get the overtake, as we've got neither of these two guys having a lot of grip here, but onto the front straight. Is Mike close enough? To catch up to Gibba here, as we look at the telemetry, he does not have any overtake compared to Gibba, at least. Mike is completely out where Gibba has about 30% more. As he still can't get close enough, that overtake button really comes in handy, boys. But, uh, as we continue through, little battle now. Chris is within one second, he's got the overtake button on as well. As he can finally see both of the Alfa Romeos now. As he's got the DRS and the overtake on. He's reaching 190 right now. I think it's too little too late plus that penalty. Uh, maybe he could just put it on for show, but... Coming through the Ascari chicane. Give a uh -huh. dip in that tire again in the gravel. Not the greatest exit. That's going to open the door. Oh, Mike has a snap of oversteer. Nearly door, losing it on the exit I there. I saw, I saw you, I saw you. As we've got Chris going around the outside, possibly around Parabolica. He's going to stick it through. He might, doesn't have the grip, as Victor nearly knocks him off the track, oh but Angel Mo, god. you're a race winner here. Nice race, guys. <laughs> oh my god, nice commentator. Chris, gonna, finish. Chris is gonna fuck us, bro, another lap. The top bro. three have one more lap, the top three finished her. within, the top three finished within 1.5 seconds of each other, as Gibba's just barely got enough, coming home in fourth place. Gibba's gonna bring it home there, Mr. Consistent in his spot. What a As battle, David Mike. Benson rounds out oh, final place. What a Sorry, freaking Mike, race for these ass. lads. <laughs> Sorry, man. Man, I apologize, man. It's <laughs> 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 good practice. <laughs>
I didn't do that on purpose. I can't break. I can't break. But that here early. we go. The podium celebration. I was playing online the other day. Got some good. Got some good. Your race winner, Mr. Mexico.